I arrived in New Delhi as the U.S. Ambassador to India one year ago this month, just before the historic visit of President Obama as the chief guest at India's 2015 Republic Day celebrations. Since then, I've taken some 36 trips around the country, meeting so many people and witnessing firsthand the strength of our people-to-people -people ties and the deepening U.S.-India engagement across the board. For example, just outside of Mysore, I visited a migrant slum community of cricket bat makers. Hi, Uma. This is Uma from USAID. We met these cricket bat makers to see innovative, low-cost, decentralized solar energy home lighting system designed by Selco with USAID support. The community has seen a 30% increase in income and improvements in their safety, comfort, and the overall quality of life for their whole families. In April, I was pleased to make my first visit to the Kingdom of Bhutan. Hi, John. This is John from the political section. The United States and Bhutan are supporting institutions and values that have brought peace and prosperity to the Indo-Pacific region and the world. And I look forward to the further development of the ties between our two countries in the coming year. The USA to Go event in Jalandhar in May coincided with a trip to visit the town of my family's heritage. Hi, Paul. This is Paul from the commercial section. And Paul helped us bring together over 200 business leaders and those interested in travel and education opportunities and commercial opportunities in the U.S. as a place to travel, study, and invest. I also had inspiring moments visiting various schools and places where my parents and grandparents studied and went to school. One of the most fulfilling moments came in September when two visionaries, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan and Sir Ratan Tata, joined me to engage India's corporate leaders and frontline health workers in the fight to make India TB free. Hi, Ruben and Pauline from our health team. What began on that day was a partnership that I'm certain will deliver a TB-free India. And this is a big commitment that we've made and we're going to keep fighting for in 2016. Now our military partnership has been especially important and it grew leaps and bounds in 2015. I had the great privilege of visiting three U.S. aircraft carriers. And Dan, this is Dan from our defense team. And visiting those carriers was symbolic both in terms of demonstrating the trust inherent in our partnership, but it also emphasized aircraft carrier design and jet engine technology work that we've agreed on to pursue together. Our military cooperation has grown to include sophisticated ground, air, and sea exercises, as well as a robust defense portfolio that enables our great militaries to operate seamlessly. I also became an honorary highwayman after trying to keep pace with legendary foodies Rocky and Mayor. Hi Emily, this is Emily from Republic Affairs section. Sampling India's diverse cuisines from the north, south, east and west with the original highwaymen brought back fond memories of growing up with my own family's passion for food and reminded me once again of the cultural diversity celebrated throughout each of our countries. Of course, none of our achievements in 2015 would have been possible without the amazing team we have here at the Embassy, and we're so proud of them. As we march towards a better future in U.S.-India relations, on behalf of Mission India and myself, we pledge, Thalian Sa Sa, forward together we go. Thank you.